Well, that's a very interesting question because now we know not all two type 2 diabetes are reversible but an obese type 2 diabetes patient he or she has a great chance to if they lose the body weight they can actually reverse type 2 diabetes because we have a good published data which has showed that greater the weight loss greater is the chance of reversal like the paper which was published in lancet diabetes and endocrinology nearly a year and a half back which showed people losing 15 kilograms or more body weight they had nearly 60 to 80 percent reversal of type 2 diabetes those who lost 10 to 15 kilograms of body weight they had around 54 percent chance of reversal those who lost 5 to 10 kilograms of body weight they had around 30 percent reversal and those who lost less than 5 they had hardly 8 to 10 percent Diet and exercise forms the cornerstone for not only weight loss but also diabetes management. So in our patients who is overweight to obese, we need to give a low calorie diet. Now, when a person goes for an energy deficient low calorie diet, he or she is likely to lose both muscle mass as well as fat mass. So an adequate amount of exercise helps in preserving the muscle mass and we would love the person to lose more of fat mass which is more beneficial. Well, we do not have a lot of weight loss medications for clinical use. The limitations of them is that the data is maximally available for short term for maybe six months to maximum one to one and a half years. The compliance is not great beyond one year of use and whatever the benefits which we see occurs in the first six months to one year and it tapers off. In them, if we can count, early stat is the most commonly used, most freely available medication and it's also perhaps uh, with the least side effects. The other ones like the topiramate, fentiramate are not approved for use across the globe. It is available for use in USA for only 6 to 12 weeks. Liraglutide again, it is approved for use at a much higher dose of 3 milligrams per day for weight loss. So yes, diabetes or obesity in diabetes is the major problem. So now we have a good number of diabetes medications which not only lower the blood glucose, they cause weight loss also. Of course, metformin is the first line gold standard treatment. You, we add a GLP-1 analog to it. There's an additive benefit in terms of not only glycemic control or weight loss. And there are NS studies to show when we combine GLP-1 analogs with even the SGLT2 inhibitors by the glycosuric property, they cause a negative energy balance and they do have some weight loss properties. So as we know, the, all the medications which are approved in type 2 diabetes, be it metformin, be it the GLP-1 analogs or be it the SGLT2 inhibitors, they are not called as an anti-obesity medication because each of these drugs individually cause only 2 to 4 kilos of weight loss which is less than 5% of the body weight which is the cutoff needed to be called a, medic a medication to be called an anti-obesity medication. But when we combine this medicine in the appropriate patient who is obese, insulin resistant, type 2 diabetes, if we combine metformin with a GLP-1 analog with SGLT2 inhibitors and if the patient can tolerate an early stat also, there will be an additive effect and that would result in a greater amount of weight loss which would not only translate in a better glycemic control in the long run these patients may actually go off medications also and we should remember nothing works without diet and lifestyle changes <laughs>